Hey, welcome you all to this new video on Off to Office. In this video, you will learn how we can extract and filter all the data rows that we search with some keywords. In one of my previous video, I show you how we could highlight the data on match. Here we will learn to totally extract that data. Before I move ahead, I would like to tell you that through advanced filter, you can filter and extract data. But that is a one time measure and which means if I change my search keyword, I will again be required to apply the advanced filter. So let's begin. We have here before us a table and a search box above. If I type some keywords here, I would like to filter all the matching data rows to the right or all together a different sheet. See, I already here have created a filter which is giving me the filter data to the right. Like I type DD. So I will show you all this from scratch. I will delete it. We will use search function here. D3, lock it and within text, this will be this concatenated with this, this. And my start number will be one. And let's see what does it return. It returns a value because production is not present in this first row. Let's drag it down to the last. This is giving us the positions of keywords, this production in the string that we have concatenated, establishing their presence. But these numbers will not help us. We will therefore convert it into true-false with isNumber function. An interesting thing to know here is that these true false are actually 1 and 0. So if we add 0 to it or multiply by 1, these true false will be converted to 1 and 0. We will use some function to add. We will add this f5 with this true or false whatever it is now using some function is now using some function here is not without any reason as some function ignores the text while doing the summation now as you can see the occurrences of the search keyword that is production is being shown here as one two three however with repetitions but no worries we know that while we use any lookup function like VLOOKUP or INDEX, it always pick the first occurrence, which is actually what we want. So in a way, we have extracted the positions of production in this table. That is first occurrence, one, then two, then three, then four. Now apply INDEX function in this i6 where we want to extract this data or where we want to filter this data index my table array will be So in place of this row number, we will search for one, two, three in this helper column. So if you find one, then the corresponding row that is second row of this table will be recognized. So I'm searching for the row number with match function. Match lookup value will be one, two, three. Either we can hard code it or use function rows rows 
I6 lock it to I6 so what it is returning 1 control Z I'm looking for 1 2 3 in my lookup array and my lookup array will be this one I will lock it exact match so this is all about row number now the column number of the index function so column number will be given by a columns function again here we can either key in one two three manually or use columns function i6 and since we have to drag it to the right so I will lock the column I will lock the column number so column number is 10 press enter let's check what it is good So we have extracted this data only thing is that we need to take care of this not available error that's very simple we will wrap it in if error function if it is an error then an empty string press enter drag it down to the right end the, to the bottom Now come to the second method that is the array method let me delete it first so in this method we will not be using any helper column so again we will start as usual with search function that is uh, we will search our keyword this keyword lock it and and this time instead of concatenating a6 b6 c6 we will rather concatenate horizontal arrays that is a1 to a25 b1 to b25 etc percent percent what actually I'm doing we can see it by pressing F9 an array has been formed sorry I have to search oh sorry F9 C one camel means this has been concatenated this is one data then semicolon means second row and two bubble colors and two bubble color semicolon that means second row then 2 b a b a n then again semicolon then 3 control z so i am searching for d3 in this array so instead of pressing simple enter here we will press control shift enter control shift enter and check 
what result it has given by pressing F9. No value error. Error 21, 14. So this is giving me the numbers which I am able to see by pressing F9. Press Ctrl Z. Now continuing with this search. I have to convert these numbers again to true false with is number function. Again check what has happened now. False true false true. So this is actually happening behind the scene. Now for time being I will press CSE here and let me tell you something about how we can generate array of numbers from 1 to 10, 1 to 12 or 1 to n. We know about row function, row say this number and it returns me 28, right? But instead of C28, we can key in more than one cell that is an array of cells. What will it return? press F9 28 29 30 31 32 like this press ctrl Z I want to generate an array of numbers from 1 to n so I will show you a trick here row row say 10 10 rows I will select it press F4 what it is giving check F9 28 something we will subtract this with row C28, C28, press. Let's check now what a rate is giving 0, 1, 2 to 9, but I want 1 to 10. So we can very easily add 1. Now we check is it returning me 1 to 9? or 1 to 10 or 1 to 25 whatever is the requirement so this was what I wanted to tell you before using this in our formula I will for your reference put an apostrophe before this so that you can check it later so this is what I'm going to use here now coming back to our extraction process we have already converted our results to true and false now we need to pull in the respective values, I mean respective values when found true. This contains an array of true and false. I have to extract true only. False is at position number 1, true is at position number 2, False next false is at position number 3. So what I will do it, this is a true false logical test actually. So if I apply if so if this is true or false it needs to return me what it needs to return me one or two or three what whenever it comes a true result so in place of one to ten or one to twenty i will use the expression that i just showed you so i need to do it from one to twenty f4 minus f4 plus 1 I mean to say when this situation uh, this is the logical test actually true false returning true false if it is true then it will give me 1 2 or 3 whatever and if false I can leave it leave the false one and now check what is it returning me see if it is false no issues but if it is true it's giving me 2 then 7 12 13 now if you look at it very carefully then you will see this 2 is actually the position of the production 2 then comes 7 then whatever so we have reached to this one now what we want is just pull in this 2 at the first place this 12 this 7 at the second place this 12 at the third place and so on 
we can do it by a function small function small function see the argument see the syntax of this function it takes an array array is this false two seven this is our array and out of that array i have to pull in kth position that is first time we will extract the first second third fourth fifth now in place of kth position we can simply put something like rows function why rows function rows returns the number of rows in a reference or array so what i will do rows h6 as i'm sitting on h6 so i need to write it at h6 lock it okay i logged it so h6 to h6 between h6 to h6 there is only one array we check it one control z now we can press control shift and enter together now if we drag it down wham it's returning me 2 7 12 13 17 19 20 so this was what i wanted so in a way we have extracted what 2 7 2 is the second position of prod that is the text containing prod the second position then the seventh position now we just need to apply index as always so index function again our array will be f4 in place of row number we can place two no issues and in place of column number we will be using columns function like rows function we will use here columns with s again we are sitting on s6 we can very comfortably press s 6 lock it sorry and h6 to h6 why h6 to h6 h6 will be locked if it is dragged below no issues but if it is dragged right side h6 will be constant h6 will change to i6 will which will give me two that is second column i want close it again we have array in it so i will press control shift control shift enter now the last thing that we need to do is just take care of this error which we know how to do it using if error function if error then if no error then this if error then an empty string press control shift enter that's it so that's it in this video i hope you learned a lot about the working of array in excel see you in the next video with another amazing content thanks for watching